Right, so I've been set a little challenge by Tom. The fish have just come shallower. Here at Partridge Day, we've been doing a bit of a meat feature and he doesn't think I could catch 10 F1s in 20 minutes. And I think there's a chance. So we're going to have a bit of a challenge and we're going to do a 20 minute shallow fishing challenge. See if I can catch 10 F1s. Seems like they come really quick in little runs when I'm going to get them. So, oh, missed the right again. And again, might need to shallow up next time. Got one. So feed when I up one. Don't know how long that took me to get that one. But hopefully, you know, one every two minutes is what I need. I feel like I've got the chance of doing that. Make sure every fish counts, I think, as well. Nice F1, two pounder. Top lip, just unhook him, get him back. So that's one. Again, double maggot on the up. And we're fishing around about 14 inches deep at the minute. Obviously, knowing this lake quite well, they come very, very shallow on this lake. Normally, Anywhere between a foot and 18 inches is normally best. Even with it only being back end of March, they will, they're going to come up shallow and feed. They generally come up really shallow on this lake. It's only sort of four foot down the middle. So, normally you do catch them quite shallow. But what I'll be doing, if I go in and if I don't get a bite pretty quick, at a certain depth we quickly uh, shipping back and deepening it off once I find the right depth you can catch a really quick run or oh, missed a little bite again then flip me rig back over fire a few maggots in lift and drop Don't know if a few of these miss bites. I have caught a couple of little small fish, a few little rods. I don't know if a few of these miss bites are off them. It makes it hard to sort of work out the depth because if you're missing bites, the F1s could actually be deeper, but we'll work it out. Lift and drop. Could do with it going quick here now. Tom said I'm three minutes in. So I could do with one in the next minute and it keeps me on schedule. I'm sure once I've got into the rhythm, I'll have a good little run where I catch a couple quite quick. Might even be able to catch two or three in the space of two minutes if I do find a depth where the fish are nice and settled. I might just quickly nip back change my depth feeling like that might be a good idea missing a few bites I'm just gonna shallow it up slide me back shot down hopefully this will see me getting a nice positive bite there you go so you see how important that depth change was then. Just missed two or three bites. Changed. Took two inches off. I'm probably now about a foot deep. I've got one. Bit of a smaller F1. Pound and a half, but counting towards the challenge. So that's two. What time are we on, Tom? How long? 4.36 so I'm going to have to speed up a little bit still feel confident that I can do it Ooh. 
got a couple of ducks in my peg as well and they've just spooked off. Hopefully that won't affect the fish. Fire a few maggots in. Lift and drop. Got one. See that this is what I need. I need a couple of quick ones like that to pull me back on schedule. So it seems like the fish are definitely quite shallow. Foot deep. Oh don't go for the pallet. Bit of a bigger one again. Two and a bit pound. It's cracking F1s in this lake. Brilliant fishing when they come shallow. So that's three. So we've got seven more to catch. I imagine I'm about five and a half minutes in, so I'm back on schedule. Go back in with two maggots. Now if I can catch them as quick as I did that chuck, then I should do it no bother. See how quick that was then. We've definitely got the depth right now. First flip, one comes straight to the noise. Oh, rushing a little bit. One comes straight to the noise and I got it straight away. Doing my best to try and lose them under the pallet. Proper F1, that one. Good two and a half pound. Getting on for three pound, maybe even that one. Cracking fish. So what am I on that? That's four, isn't it, that now? Again. Brilliant fishing on here at the minute. First time the fish have really woke up and had a good chew of the year this week few of the summary methods starting to work like shallow caught a few fish on meat short today doing a feature for that brilliant uh, to finally be catching them getting plenty of bites after what seems like a long winter it seems like it's dragged on quite a bit this year it's been cold but I think the fish are hungry now and they're ready to have a good feed no, uh, we had a wander around looking at the open match today as well and seen a few lads catching them shallow on there as well. So it's a good sign that, you know, getting towards summer now won't be long. So I've gone back in there after catching two really quick. Oh, I was about to say, I didn't get a bite at first, but we've got one now. I was thinking I might have to just deepen it off a couple of inches again, but we'll stick with this depth for the meanwhile. So what's this now? Five fish. What time are we on, Tom? Eight minutes, so we're on course. Still got getting on for 12 minutes. Well, that's if I do get this one in. Give me the good run around. Oh, it's a belt in F1. Look at the size of him. I'm going to have to hold this one up just because he's such a, a nice fish, even with the challenge. Oh, he's giving a flip about. Try and hold him up. Got to be getting on for £4. Belt in F1. You can see why... This lake in particular at Partridge does throw up some awesome weights during the summer. Don't need many of them big F1s when you can catch them that quick like that. Just catch a really big weight. So, five more to catch. About 11 minutes left, I'd have thought, so... Still on course. Keep the feed going in so they don't vanish looks perfect this today this peg for shallow the wind's blowing down nice 
coming down this bit. We've got a bit of a bowl to me left. I did think we'd be able to catch a few, shall we? And once we've seen them uh, anglers on the open match on, the other late's catching really well, shall I? I couldn't resist coming to have a go. So, again, I know I got one, that last chuck, but I do feel like, oh, every time I say I feel like I need to go deeper, it goes. 10 minutes to go. And if I get this in, that's six, so I'm well on course. I only have to get four in the second 10 minutes. Told you, Tom, I told you there was 10 to catch in 20 minutes. Again, another good three pound F1. Four more to catch. I'll tell you, last time I was uh, doing a challenge with Tom was at Weston. And if you haven't seen that one, I actually failed the challenge, so. I definitely need to try my hardest to to win this one, otherwise I can't have two fails on the bounce, surely. Get some maggots in. I am getting a few little miss bites off them little rod. Just felt one of them then as I lifted up. But luckily, they're not hooking themselves and I can get my rig back in and hopefully catch an F1. Ooh, ooh, one of my maggots is gone. I'm gonna come back. So I know how important it is when you're doing this sort of fishing. Double maggot is nearly always the best hook bait, so instead of just chancing it, make sure I've got two maggots on, because if I sit there and waste time on the wrong hook bait, I might sit there for a long time without catching one. I don't want that got one see see straight away go back to double maggot just think they pick it out so much faster in amongst all the other loose maggots that are falling through number seven Three more to get. Now, one thing I'd say, just while I'm fishing, just want to talk through the rig, what I'm using. It's my fairly typical shallow rig that I use for F1s. Normally, when it, the fish are a little bit deeper, if I'm honest, sort of 18 inches plus, it's me little F1 shallow float from Richie Wilson. 017 main line, three number 10 shot spread out, 011 up length, a little 18 Super LWG just for double maggot. But obviously, because the fish have come really shallow today, I'm just using that rig and shallowing it up. It's working well to be fair. Elastics, orange hydro, which I think is perfect for shallow fishing this time of year, particularly for F1s. One. one little run of fish now and I'll be good hopefully just getting a few little spots of rain hopefully that's not going to kill it lift and drop again no bites this cast so four, 14 minutes is it Tom? Six minutes to go, three to catch. Might have to come back and go deeper again. And that's what I'm gonna do. No good, again, no good just sitting there. Feel like the fish have dropped deeper. 
couple of inches back on back up to 14 inch now flick it over fire a few maggots in oh little fish on the end then hopefully these fish haven't deserted me just as i said that I only needed to get three more and it looked like it was on. Got one. So luckily he's going that little bit deeper, keeping in touch with him. That's really, really important, especially when you're trying to be efficient at catching shallow. Like, if you wait a little bit longer, you might still come back with a fish, you know, a couple of inches shallow, a couple of inches deeper, but finding that perfect depth will always help you to catch faster and smoother and catch bigger weights at the end of the day got to get him back quick because I don't want to fail got to get two more the range really starting to come down now so I think get two more hopefully complete the challenge and then we might have to go and get out the rain Unbelievable fishing this though, just for the back end of March. You can tell now that the fish are really starting to wake up. Seeing some massive weights getting caught over the last few weeks after, you know, sort of like 10 days ago, there was snow on the ground and people have been catching, you know, 200, 300 pound weights. <laughs> Crazy how quick they can respond when the weather warms up. Come on, give me two more fish. Oh, missed that one. Got one. Don't want to jinx it, but actually what cost me last time, I actually lost the final fish on the whistle at Weston. So hopefully this next one, when I get it, it's going to stay on because I think otherwise it'll be tight. Number nine. What's the time, Tom? Oh, right. We've got three minutes left. That should should get one. Though again, I don't want to jinx it. Flip me rig in. few maggots oh little miss bite just lift and drop it lift it up drop it got him now will he come in or will he come off <laughs> got plenty of time but I don't want to take too long in case he does come off and then I've got to get back out and get another one Ooh. could have had him then and we've got him number 10 obviously it helps to have a peg with the wind blowing down and a peg full of fish but at least I'm glad that I've finished the challenge another great big golden partridge F1 what a fishery and I'm expecting now over these next few weeks there'll be some massive weight starting to come out of these lakes so I'm glad to have finished the challenge Glad to win it after last time where I failed. <laughs>